What's going on traders? Welcome to the channel. My name's John. That's Groot. We trade options here. So today, just really quickly going to cover a over $1,000 income trade that I just opened and set up. And we'll just walk through the mechanics, but to give you the basic overall idea, uh, it's a two-part sort of trade. One is a put credit spread. Basically, I'm betting that the stock will be above the strike price that I have set up. Number two is going to be the covered call, which is pretty simple, basic. I've kind of covered this in past videos. It's been sort of a recurring theme probably the past about two months or so regarding this stock Mara, M-A-R-A. -A. So bottom line, I think 2021 will be a good year for digital assets and cryptocurrencies basically. So anything related to that, I plan on collecting income from, and then also trying to capture the upside potential in those types of stocks and coins in general. All right, so what we're looking at here is a Mara put credit spread. And the nature of this is a, a bullish play. I'm basically betting that the price of Mara should not go below my break even point. And essentially anytime we're above my put strike that I've sold short. So this minus 140 put, if we're near it or above it, that is a good sign. It generally means I'll be sitting on profit. So right now the stock is trading at 3850. Uh, so it's not over the $40 price point, but since my break even is so low, uh, and I'll talk about that in a sec, but since my break even is low, uh, that puts me at less risk in this trade. And I might even be profitable, even if we're underneath the $40 level. The way I'll explain this is I set up this credit spread. It's pretty wide, but it paid me $780 basically. So I took on a credit of 780. And by doing that, that pushed my break even point 7.8 below 40. So if I just go 40 minus 7.8, that puts my break even point on this trade at 32.20 a share. And we're clearly over that basically being at 3850. So there's a big difference there and that's why I'm sitting on profit now, but I'm looking to pocket really close to that 780. So if I'm anywhere in the four or five, $600 range, I will be really happy on this trade. And you know, that's a good amount of income to take in. Uh, but expiration March 19th, that's going to be a few days away. I think about two, three weeks out from now. Uh, okay, so next let's look at component two of my trade, and that's going to be on my Robinhood account here. So just to give us some idea, as I go here, it's this Mara 47 call right here. And as I click on it, a couple things, I jumped the gun a little early in the morning. I thought Mara was going to go down further, uh, so I prepared for that. But I'm glad that I picked the strike price that I did. So the 47 call. Uh, I took on a $330 credit. So what this does is this punches my break even higher on this covered call, meaning I have 100 shares as collateral. And what I'm doing here is I'm telling the basically Robin Hood or the market like, hey, my $100, my 100 shares, I will not release or give up unless we are well above my break even point, which I had set at 47 plus 330. So that puts us at $50 and 30 cents a share. And to give you an idea, uh, Mar Mara Marathon Digital now is trading at 39.53. So that's about 11 points away from where this would be. So if I am, I'm not really losing money technically because what would happen is that this could trade all the way to 50 or $55. And I will capture that difference in pricing between the 50, uh, 50, 30 and 39, 59 right now. So basically I'd be looking at $11 spread there. Meaning if I go my hundred shares times 11 points, that's $1,100 in profit or if we stay below $50 and 30 cents, then I will at least be within break even or better. So I either take on $330 of income or I take on $1,100 of profit if Mara shoots higher. And then here's the best part is that I told you I'm, I'm a bit bullish on crypto in general. Well, I own 300 shares of Mara, so I only have 
100 shares exposed. So those 200 shares would keep growing, you know, un, unrelated. So that's the basic plan is right now going to just let those appreciate in price. And if they don't, even if they stay where they're at, I will tend to make an income either this week or next. But really, uh, I'm almost trading in a way I'm basically trading neutral on this stock, meaning all outcomes are good, but I'm neutral to positive. So if we go, we stay where we're at, I make income. If we go higher, I make quite a bit of profit and then some. So I'm happy either way. The only real downside risk in this would be if we go lower, my put credit spread on the Tastyworks account would actually be quite a bit at risk and that would be a problem. But on the Robinhood side, I'd collect income based on that $330 credit and I could consider doing more later on too. So hope that was helpful. We'll definitely want to subscribe. You don't want to make group mad, but more importantly, we do this all the time. We trade options for income and we grow that income into further and further wealth in the future. So multiple videos coming out to you each week and hope you enjoy it. Trade safe, be safe, stay safe. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for stopping by. We'll see you on the next video. Peace. Thanks group, appreciate that.